So change the, uh, well, I'm going to take it out. First we got to get this handle off, it's just a grub screw. I ain't got to worry about this one because I'm replacing the old unit, but best not to drop that down the sink or the plug hole. Just a little grub screw. Alright, I should just pull free now. It's got a little stop on it there, so make sure you know how to refit that because you don't want it to turn too much because that's what prevents people from getting scolded. So now we've got this piece in here, there's a little circle up here, but on this one you can ignore that and just undo the big nut. These are usually pretty tight. Sometimes you can do them with screw uh, your pliers and a screwdriver in that hole. Yeah, this one's alright. Other times you need a big extension ratchet, extension uh, adjustable wrench on it to get some leverage, but this one's alright. Pretty easy job really on this one. Some of them you have two of them, some of them are in the ends. But as long as you can find the model number, you should be able to get a replacement. They can range from anywhere from 15 quid to 150. Depends on how. How complicated they are inside. I have turned the water off, that's just water coming from the shower head. Right, that's loose. You have to be careful, because you want to know how to put this back. So, there's your valve. The thermostatic bit goes towards the back. The black bit goes towards the back on this one. And you've got the valve. And the spring. And that's it, you can replace all that unit. But on this one I'm going to change the old lock because it's really worn so I'm just going to put it back. Ready pretty well off camera. I'll just tighten this up, really tight. Put this back so you get the full turn in. Should cut off there and end up the top. Refit the grub screw. And that is pretty much it. I'll turn the video off now.